Okay, quick little guide on the fan control unit for the Honda TRX um, quads. Uh, now, the fan control unit on these goes quite regularly. Uh, what you've got here is you've got a little red light to say that the oil temperature's got too hot. Um, actually, that shouldn't come on. Uh, that should come on when you first turn the ignition on, very briefly. The fan should run for a second, and then it should shut off, and it should only come on uh, when it gets really, really hot. Anyway, the fan control units go. Um, they're quite expensive and difficult to deal with. Uh, basically, under there, right under the front, of course you can't see, but right under the front on that side there, there is a little black box. Um, single multiplier goes into it. Could be that. Um, that tends to be the problem. Also, you can get problems with your um, the oil temperature sensor. Uh, if you see down on this side, you see the wire dropping underneath uh, the engine there runs up. There's a little blue wire and a uh, that's the what you call there. If you whip that off, I'm told if you ground it, if you whip that wire, disconnect it there and ground it, you can see whether the system works because if you ground it, it will then run the fan. Anyway, my fan control it doesn't work. Uh, the light comes on whenever the hell it fancies it. The fan never runs. Here's what I'm doing. Little. Um, fan control unit. Um, this is actually a used one. I've got uh, another one coming from eBay, but I'm going to use this one for the moment. All it is, it's literally that, senses the temperature, and this is a switch. You can set it to whatever temperature you want. I'm going to run one wire from the battery to here, and I'm going to run this to the fan uh, live, um, and then what's going to happen is it's then when it gets up to temperature uh, and it needs to cool, that's going to turn the fan on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single wire um, from one of the outputs of the fuses here, um, if I can get at them easily. Um, if I can't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line straight from the battery live, down and along the chassis. I'm going to cable tie that up and under here, out of the way. And then I'm going to run and I'm going to put the actual sensor, I'm going to cable tie that to the top of the oil cooler. Now the oil cooler can be located by following those two pipes there. If you follow those up, you'll find the oil cooler. So I'm just going to cable tie that to the top of the oil cooler. I'm going to take the two fan wires. You can actually, it's very difficult to see, I know, but you can just about see the fan in there, but you'll know what a fan looks like. There's two wires to it. I'm going to ground one of the wires and I'm then going to <clears throat> apply a live to the other one, make sure it's actually, um, uh, it's, it's, um, that the airflow is the right way. You should actually feel the air going this way. You shouldn't feel it suck. Try with a bit of tissue if you want, just hold it and make sure it's blowing this way. Um, and um, yeah, that's about it really. You're gonna save yourself uh, 200 quid for a fan control unit. Um, and it may not even be the fan control unit. As I say, you may find that this wire's grounded out somewhere. Um, you may also find that the oil temperature sender, uh, hidden right deep at the bottom of the engine down there, is at, at fault. Um, or it might be a wiring issue, because there's quite a bit of wiring going on with, with the whole control unit itself. So, one wire. Straight from alive, ideally fused. If not, put a fuse in line with it runs straight down the, the, the rail here to one end of the um, one end of the, the fan control. They're all the same, these. Um, basically all they do is they just switch on when it reaches a certain temperature. So live to there, fan live to the other terminal, and then ground the um, the fan the other fan wire, ground it straight to um, to the body of the, the machine um, to give you neutral. And then that uh, stuck onto the uh, the top of the oil cooler. Uh, now I'm going to set this myself. I'm going to set this to about 90 degrees C. I know that sounds a bit cool, um, but I figure that's that's roughly where I want to be. Uh, 90 to 100 degrees C is is probably um, yeah. Actually, to be fair, let's say 100. Um, and yeah, there we are. Well, that's my simple method of um, sorting out a rather common problem on these. Uh, if you know of any others, um, stick it at the bottom in the comments um, because uh, as far as I can see from a, a quick search when I 
wondered what on earth was going on with um, with that little red light. Um, this happens to a lot of people. There we are. Hope it helps.